Hi, I'm Nishad and welcome to this new video tutorial of Bagesto. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out our new plugin that's the Bagesto Laravel Affiliate System. In the previous video, we showed you how the particular user would be able to register himself as an affiliate at the Bagesto Web Store front end and the different account panel options that the particular affiliate user gets in the account panel options there. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out the admin workflow and we'll be seeing the different configuration settings that are required for the affiliate system in the first place. Apart from that, we'll also be seeing how the admin would be able to manage the affiliates in the admin backend panel and the different account panel options that the admin gets under the affiliate system in the admin backend panel there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial there, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop on to the admin backend panel of the Bugisto and let's see the initial configuration settings and the different account panel options for the affiliate system that the admin gets in the Bugisto backend panel there. For the same, let's hop on to the admin backend panel now. So right now you can see that I'm at the Bugisto web store backend panel right now. So what I'll be doing is I'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the email, password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. So after the successful installation of the Bugisto Laravel affiliate system, the admin will find one option here that's the affiliate system. And under the affiliate system, he'll find different options or sub options like manage affiliate, email affiliate, banner text ads, traffic, sales, payment records, statistics graph, and trashed affiliate users. Apart from that, the admin will also get one option under the settings option here with the name affiliate system from where the admin would be able to make the initial configuration settings for the affiliate system itself. So first of all, let's see the initial configuration settings and then we'll come down to the affiliate system here. So for the initial configuration settings, what you need to do is you need to navigate to settings in the admin backend panel and under that you'll find the affiliate system after the successful installation of the plugin itself. Now after tapping on the affiliate system, you'll get the affiliate system general settings, payment information, manage affiliate general commission rates and affiliate program terms. So let's go through the general settings first. So under the general settings, you'll be able to enable or disable the affiliate system for your Bugisto web store. After enabling it up, you'll get this affiliate system option on the side panel as well. If it's disabled and you update the affiliate data, you'll see that the affiliate option has been removed from the side panel here itself. So if I enable it up, I update the affiliate data here, the affiliate system would be enabled here with the different uh, sub options as you can see here. Now let's come down to the settings and affiliate system and here we have enabled the affiliate system for our web store by enabling it up. Then we have the display blog link on registration page. So if you enable this option and let me save this option first, then what will happen is that on the store front end of the Bugis store, if a user comes and wants to register as an FA, then on the sign up page, he'll find the blog URL option and a checkbox where he'll be able to check this option to become an FA user there. Let's come back. Then we have the allow affiliate registration. So you need to enable this up uh, to allow the affiliate registrations within your store. Then we have automatically approve affiliates. So what happens is that if you have disabled this option, then when a particular user who wants to begin an affiliate registers from the registers from the sign up page here after entering the details by entering the, for example, entering his first name, last name, email, password, uh, confirm password, blog URL, where he'll be posting the ads of the admin and selecting the option that is want to become an affiliate user and signs up, then he'll, if the automatically approve affiliates is disabled, then in that case, after sign in, he'll not be able to see the affiliate account panel options until the admin approves the affiliate from the admin backend there. Otherwise, if it's enabled, automatically approve affiliates, then after sign in, he'll be directly able to see the different account panel options of the affiliates under his account panel there. Now, uh, let me show you where exactly the uh, admin would be able to, uh, what we say as approve the affiliates. For that, you'll have to navigate to the affiliate system. 
and here under the manage affiliate you will find the different affiliates who have registered and to approve or disapprove a particular one you can select that particular affiliate and choose approve or disapprove for example if i choose it as not approve and tap on the ok button it would be not approved now let's come back to the settings section let's come down to the affiliate system then we have the minimum payout balance so here you have to enter the amount that would be the minimum payout balance at which the admin would be able to make a payout to the affiliates there then we have the payment day or the payment date of the month so here you have to enter the number of the month that would be the payment date of the month then we have the blog url hint here you can enter the blog URL hint as per the requirement there and this would be visible to the affiliate users under their own account panel under the particular section there. So for example, if I log in uh, to an affiliate users account here, let's tap on the sign in button and uh, let me go with the uh, smith at the rate of webcool.com and let's tap on the sign in button. So here you can see that if I go to the blog URL section, here you can see right here URL where you want to promote our uh, ads. The same blog URL hint is visible here as well. Now this minimum payout balance, the payment date of the month is visible under the summary section to the affiliate user. Minimum payout balance, payment day of the month, well, first of every month there. Then we have the different emails. Here you have to enter the affiliate manage email, email address. Then you have to select the affiliate user account update update email template then you have to choose the affiliate user notification by admin email template email campaign template manager email template payment credit notification email notification template affiliate user email template on order approve then we have the payment information now here the admin will be able to assign the payment methods to the different uh, affiliates of the store there so whichever payment methods you have selected here would be visible to the affiliates under the payment preferences so if i go to the payment preferences here you can see that we are able to see the check money order bank transfer and the paypal standard the same have been enabled by the admin from the back end and accordingly the particular affiliate would be able to save a particular payment method to receive the payouts within the details of that particular payment method itself then we have the manage affiliate general commission rates now here you'll be able to set up the pay per click amount in dollars pay per unique click you can set the percentage uh, or the fixed for the commission type for the sale that would be made out uh, when a user taps on the ads on the affiliate user blog link and is redirected to the main website and purchases the product from that place and in that uh, sale in that sale case the set commission would be assigned to the affiliate user there so here you can choose the percentage of fix and you can set the commission as well now these details for the pay per click pay per unique click and the set commission is visible to the affiliate user under the summary section as well so if i scroll down here here you can see that pay per click is one dollar pay per uh, unique click is two dollar and per sale we are having five as the percentage amount for the sale that would be assigned to the affiliate user there then lastly, we have the affiliate program terms. Now, whatever uh, uh, terms and conditions do you enter here would be visible to the uh, affiliates at the time of registration. So if I sign out of this particular affiliate there and I go to the sign up page and I scroll down here, you can see that we have the affiliate terms. So whichever affiliate terms that you have entered there would be visible to them on the storefront on the registration page there itself. So this was the initial configuration settings of the uh, Buggy to Laravel affiliate system there. After you're done with these, just update the affiliate data and now let's go to the affiliate system. Now under the affiliate system, the very first option that we have is the manage affiliate. Here, the admin would be able to see the affiliate username, the blog link that they have added, total number of clicks for the ads that they have posted, total unique clicks on the ads posted by the uh, affiliate user, the balance that needs to be paid out to the uh, affiliate user, the status of the affiliate user and from here you can view the total sale, total traffic, total transactions and you can also pay to the affiliate. 
to pay to the affiliate you can tap on the pay to affiliate link that you have under the total transaction and if you want to delete any particular affiliate user you can tap on the delete button to delete that particular affiliate user after deleting a particular user or an affiliate user he'll be listed under the trashed affiliate user list as you can see right now i've gone to the trashed affiliate user list and here we can see the particular affiliate user that has been deleted by the web so main admin there now let's come back to the manage affiliate to make a payout you need to tap here on the pay to affiliate link and you can see that automatically the payment preference uh, uh, has been selected as bank account by the particular affiliate users and the details that he had uh, saved are visible here to the admin in the backend panel there and from here the admin can enter the transaction id the ipn transaction id the amount that he needs to transfer and you can tap here on the save button after tapping on the save button the details will be saved under the payment records there so here you can see that 15 amount has been on the 15 dollars has have been sent out to the particular affiliate user there now if i go ahead and i log in uh, to the affiliate user account there to the smith at webpool.com and i come down to the payment records here the $15 payment record would be visible here 3232-5345 for $15 is visible here to the particular affiliate user along with the transaction date as well as the time there. After the manage affiliate we have the email affiliate so from here the admin would be able to send the emails to the affiliate users as well or uh, by setting up the subject of the email and the message as well and from here he can choose a particular uh, affiliate user or he can send it to all affiliate users as well as per the requirement and can send a personal mail to all of those affiliate users as per the requirement there then we have the banner and text ads now as i've already told you in the previous video that all of the products that have been created under the catalog product section all of those would be visible to the uh, affiliates under the banners and ads product ads so here you can see that we have red shoes and t-shirt black added by the admin so the same is visible under the product ads red shoes and the black t-shirt and uh, for the what we say as uh, for the uh, banner text ads the banner text ads needs to be added by the admin manually so to do so what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add new banner for now i'll just uh, edit the particular one that i had edited already so i'll just edit it up so you have to set up the banner title the content then you have to choose the link whether it's of a cms page or of the product link uh, then you have to choose the size, the default size or whichever size that you want to choose and then you need to save that up. After you save the particular uh, banner there and the banner would be listed here as you can see and the same would be visible to the affiliate users under the account panel under the banners and ads and banner text ads as you can see right now. Buy a new pair of red shoes. If I preview it up, this is the same one that is visible to them as well. After the banner and text, uh, we have the traffic. Here we'll be able to see the customer IP addresses, the referring URLs and the view date along with the time there. So the traffic record list can be seen under this particular section. Under the sales, we can see the complete list of sales, the referring URL from where the sales have come up to our website there, the purchase date along with the time, the affiliate username, the total order amount, the commission that has been given, the order status and the affiliate status is visible here. Then under the payment records, as we have already shown you, if we are making the payout to the affiliate users under the manage affiliate section, after the pay to the affiliate, that particular record would be listed under the payment records there along with the transaction ID, IP and transaction, transaction amount, payment method and the transaction date along with the time there. Then we have the statistics uh, gra graph there and that is the daily traffic being displayed to the main admin and the monthly traffic as well. And lastly, we have the trashed affiliate user list. Here, the affiliate users that you have deleted from the manage affiliate section would be listed under the trashed affiliate users. And from here, you'll be able to uh, basically update their status or restore the particular user as per the, the requirement that. So yes, that was much about the Buggy Solaraville affiliate system. 
in the admin Mac and panel and I hope that it helps you out in understanding how we can initially configure the buggies to Laravel affiliate system in the first place and the different account panel options that the admin gets under the, the uh, affiliate system there. If you still have any questions, queries, sessions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us and support at the rate of buggisto.com or you can raise a ticket at buggisto.uvdesk.com as well. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.